This is going to be an overview of iTunes and the phone all together. Um, when you plug in the phone, like I said in the previous tutorial, it's going to show um, it in the devices. In the summary, right here, it's going to have some information the name of it, the capacity, the software version, serial number, and the phone number. Um, check for updates. Um, it automatically checks for updates like once a week or every couple of weeks. And this is the next time it's supposed to check for an update. You can do a restore. Um, there's options. You can have iTunes open this iPhone when it's connected. Um, I I like to keep it all unchecked. Um, info. This is just um. Uh, you can sync your address book down here to. Um, to the phone. Um, you can have your iCalendar if you use iCalendar a lot. You can have it synced. Um, I don't have it synced because I have my iPhone, iPhone already synced with my Google Calendar and stuff so there's no point in double doing it. Um, you can sync mail accounts but you can just set up the email account on the phone. You don't need to worry about this. Um, some, some of the other options. Um, Safari bookmarks, sync notes, um, um, and then this um, replace um, you can replace information um, like let's say it's a brand new phone and you actually have a bunch of stuff in the address book if you click this um, during the next sync only as it says here it will whatever you have checked here it will replace whatever's on the iPhone with what's in your address book um, uh, the apps tab um, over here is going to have displayed all the apps you have up in here in this section of the library. Um, and you can manage which apps you install via iTunes. Um, of course, self explanatory if it's checked, it's already installed on the phone. Um, you can go through here and you can check like the Adult Swim application. I don't have installed on the phone, but if I were to check it, then it would. Um, CAD Mobile, which is um, just a um, webcomic site. Um, there's only going to be one I'm going to add on here because I know you like it. Um, they actually have a, check this out, check this out, Cyanide and Happiness website. Um, there's a free version and the full version. The only difference between the two is um, the full version, you actually have access to all of the archives going back to when they first started making them um, back in 05. Um, the light version only has access to, um, I think, two months worth of the archive. And then, of course, the new stuff um, every day when you know they're new. So I'm going to go ahead and check it. Then since I'm not quite done showing you it just yet, um, Here's this tab, the ringtones, um, sync ringtones, all ringtones, and that's going to be pulling from the library over here. Um, uh, uh, I don't want to apply it just yet. Um, um, all the ringtones, um, of course you can come in here, uncheck it, or check it. Um, back over here, um, you can either do all ringtones or selected ringtones. I just put all of them on there and I have a tutorial on how to make ringtones already on YouTube you can watch. Uh, let me see if Cyanide Happiness is still checked because I have a feeling it's not. So, yeah it's not so. Before I actually do the sync I'm going to have to come back in here and do it. Um, music, um, if you have music um, I don't have my playlist set up. Um, that's going to be a tutorial I already have set up though. Movies, same thing. You know, click um, sync movies and then you can check all the ones that you want. Um, right now all of season 5 of Supernatural is actually loaded in here. I need to move up to the TV show section. Um, videos that I download of Andy and of Journey and stuff. Um, TV shows. I, I bought the season pass for Supernatural in iTunes um, so I can um, sync up the episodes if I want. Um, books. Um, I don't use iBooks, um, so I don't have this checked, and then photos, and I have the the tutorial on, I already posted on how you can set this up on um, pulling from a specific directory, so 
So let's go back to apps. Um, check the sign on and happiness. Oh, before I actually hit apply, um, on this side of the screen, you can actually move around the icons. Instead of doing it on the phone, you can do it here in iTunes. Let's say I want to um, move this chat one. All you have to do is drag and drop to um, be someplace else. Um, and you can also make groups that way too. Um, just put the icon on top of another icon and it puts it in a group for you already. But I don't like to have them those two in groups. So let me change it so it doesn't sync it as a group. And then um, and you can switch them from pages to pages. So let's say I, I want to move this Wikipedia one to page three. Just drag and drop it over to here, page three. And put it somewhere. Um, I like it on page one. And, um, since I like to have everything in groups, I'm actually going to move this one, Sign Out Happiness, to my entertainment group. So it will be my entertainment group, which has my entertainment stuff in there. Um, I'm going to move Golf Logic to Lifestyle. And I'm going to move Old School Blocks to Games 2. And some of the ones that I've already downloaded, I'm going to move to the groups also, like Starbucks, put in Lifestyle. Um, sex Facts, I'm going to put into entertainment but it won't let me because entertainment is full so I'm gonna have to make a new one so let me um, um, move some of these around real fast um, put that one in that group pharmacy I'll put in lifestyle also and phase 10 I'm gonna put in Games 2 and Sex Facts, I am going to put in Miscellaneous. And then once you get done um, arranging them how you want, checking the ones you want installed, you just hit apply down here in the corner and it goes through the process of syncing the phone. And then everything will be um, where you put it. It will copy the applications that I chart. I, um, I recently downloaded and marked to install and, and that's how you manage apps with iTunes.